Oh, we have a smaller one. Not too bad. This is not small. Wow. Beautiful. Hello, Hi, morning, hello, morning, everyone. Where are we going today? I don't know. We are going to Chesil Beach. Chesil Beach? Yes. So. So we are going to here. Okay. Um, we try many times going down this road and turn left, but this time we are going turn to right. Oh, okay. So we're going to go. Because the gravel is uh, really difficult to walk to, and and normally we go to little bit tiny one or two. 100 feet is uh, around half an hour so this time we, we go back to last time that row and then come down it will be easier so maybe go right and then go down here yes so only go right it will take us two minutes and then go straight yeah. straight down because we we tried here last time about here didn't we yeah uh, near the Lawrence house something. Yeah. yeah I don't think we were very good that successful last time we walked yeah. all the way down there yeah it's nothing down there. Eh? Just half an hour. Uh, that was half an hour. Yeah, but this should take only five minutes. Yeah. So what else you got for me? Um, the temperature, I think, is uh, twelve. Twelve, okay. Uh, twelve uh, Celsius. That's good. Anything yeah. else? And uh, the tide. Ooh. Now is uh, eight a.m. Low tide. But, but already. Yeah, pass, uh, and then high tide is uh, 11.47. Yep. And then the e uh, afternoon is uh, 4.55, nearly 5 o'clock. Yep. And then 7.17 p.m. Yep, and then down and again. And then down is uh, nearly 9 p.m. Oh, okay, In the that's evening, interesting. It's looked like a lot of fish, but um, oh. yeah, today the temperature is... Um, Oh, okay, 11, 11 10, uh, 9. 9, not too bad. So, uh, 10. Uh, yeah, but probably have a rain, yeah, a little bit. Well, a li Just little bit of a chance at 3 o'clock. 10%, uh, but the wind... Ooh, that's ooh, the best one. The best one is a 4, 1, 2, 1, 2 miles two an hour miles from the miles. north. So that's yes, it. Yes, yeah. So the waves will be very, very yeah, calm. Absolutely good. So we can see bites and then, you know, mm. if they bite, we'll see them. And what are we hoping to catch today, Elsie? Oh, cod. We're Every hoping game. for cod. We, there's also the whiting that's still going to be there, we think. Yeah. So whiting, Hopefully. we think, maybe mm. precede or come before the cod. Yeah, because um, I can say myself, <laughs> uh, not, not, not catch anything from uh, Chesil Beach. That's right. But hopefully. Break our duck there. Yeah. We never caught from Chesil Beach, but we're thinking whiting, and I think got a good chance of cod because cod has been showing in the channel in yeah. the bristol channel and also people have made videos catching cod recently on chesil beach yeah so hopefully yeah we can cost some okay awesome stuff we'll go to the, uh, i think the weymouth angling center to get some bait first and uh, yeah stay tuned and then see you there all right before me and elsie do that i am going to be testing this new braid i got so Berkeley's times five, I guess that's five strands, 30 pound uh, breaking strain, 0.2 millimeter diameter, maximum breaking strain, 45 pounds. So it's 13.6 kilogram, maximum is 20.6. The color is light green. And the uh, reason why I bought this, it's 300 yards of this, this was, um, £21.99 from Fishing Republic and they're still open so you can walk in and browse at Fishing Republic there's the uh, Times 9 braid it gives you here the difference between the strengths and qualities and attributes of them yep definitely five strands uh, the 9 strand one is a lot more it's about 40 pounds from 300 yards so I know that 
300 yards will fit nicely onto this reel here. So, because I've done it before. So I went and bought a new bait runner. So they were so good, I got three already. Make sure me and Elsie both have one each. So this is eventually gonna go on there. So just opening the box. So Berkeley's X5 or times five. Not sure where it's made. Doesn't really say. Looks like that. If I pull it out slightly, does it make a shape? And stay as it does. So it's not super supple. Makes a shape and kind of stays there. Feels kind of rough. But let's, the most important thing, of course, is the strength test. Now, Last time it was um, when I tested the Daiwa, the 32 pound I think it was, 32 pound ended up breaking at about 19, uh, 19, 18 and 17 break as well, I think it was something like that. So I, I'm, I'm feeling good about this break, 30 might mean 30, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Right, so. Got the better scale, set it to zero. These ones are made in Japan, I think. I'm not sure. Goes away well 32 pounds. I've already cut, snipped a bit off, didn't really cut it. So I'm just going to make a couple of loops one large loop and one smaller loop. One, two. This is for the scales end. I do. This end will need a bigger loop because I'm going to loop it over my anvil, uh, anvil stroke clamp vice. I mean, so that's big enough. Round edges, of course. Do this in the. I'm saying that that's got a round edge. There we go, big loop. Big loop. And small loop. Alright, so if you want to pause the video and have a little think what, you, what the 30 might break out on Berkeley's X5 or times 5 line, braided line. I reckon. I reckon it's going to go bang on 30, I reckon. I reckon it's going to be 30. It's a little bit smooth on that side. So I'm going to have to readjust the camera in a minute probably. So you can see it. So you, you can see the setup. There's no, there's no rough edges. I'm going to pull. So, and I'm going to skip bring over to the, the set of scales. One test only. One test only. Four, five. And go ten. So I think the uh, diver line broke out 15, I think. So I expect it might go at 15. 15. It's lived to 15 barrier okay already it's beating the diver line it's gonna hurt isn't it I'm gonna really hurt my knuckles in there oh, 25 28 I might not make it snap because if it does things will really right, it does make a 30 because I remember last time when it went twang and snapped I had to really make some repairs on the other scales I had. Okay. 30 it was. 30 means 30. Well done, Berkeley's times 5. Uh, if I was to do it until it snapped, I'd have to use weights, I think. Because I don't want to hurt myself. 
and I don't want to break this. Okay, well done. Berkeley's 30 means 30 and probably it could probably do a bit more. So excellent. I'm going to put this on my reel, this new reel, and I'm going to use it for when I'm needing an extra bit of strength uh, for heavy fishes, maybe like live baiting or dead baiting or something like that. All right, excellent. Well worth the money. And of course, I wouldn't be satisfied with the test unless I test it to destruction. So, uh, I have tied this bag on and this is a kind of typical kind of scenario. And uh, there's a round edge there, so there's no sharp edges. So, that could be something like your, your fishing rig. Okay, the end of your fishing rig is a looped end with a bag. So I know it can take 30. Let's load it up until it breaks. So roughly, I've got some old weights I have got in the garage, and uh, I'll load it up with 20 or so, and uh, we'll add it from there. We'll see when it breaks. Right. In fact, I'm going to try and get it to the total of 31.9. So I'm going to do a 14.8 kilo uh, pounds, a uh, 8.8 pounds and another 8.8 pounds now total up to 31.9 so 32 pounds if it can take all these three weights it's gone above and beyond what the um, specifications is for this 31.9 I'll put that in the calculator so in goes the big 14.8 I think this one is oh no spinning okay let me uh, just that I'm going to have to hold it. I guess I'm going to have to hold it. Make sure there's a piece of line there. So here it is. I'm going to get some more light on this so you can see what I'm doing. In fact, this is quite a safe way of doing it. You can wind it up. Right, let's do that then. So easily it took 14.8. Add another 8.8 .8 to it. So now... 14, let me just double check, 6.5 kg is, these old weights, I think they fill these with concrete, 14.3, my apologies, 14.3, and definitely 8.8, .8. so now, 20, 23.1, so if I wind this around, this over this way, completely lift it, oh okay, didn't like that stress, 21.3, 23.1, so I guess it does matter how the knots are tied, but the other test I did, you saw it, dirty. Although saying that, I noticed that the die wire line, now I'll compare it, is slightly thinner than the Berkeley line. Now die wire line is pointed as I think it's 0.21 and this one, the Berkeley line, is pointed at 0.2. So see for yourself. Now the die wire line is meant to be 27 kg and averaged about 19, 18 it's my apologies, 27 pound breaking strain and it averaged around about 18 19 pounds breaking strain. This one is bang on 20, uh, 30, rated at 30, bang on 30. Uh, although it did break in the second test, that's a much lower point when I uh, kind of tied it up differently. We're using only weights, and, and also don't forget, I was winding the handle, so it put an extra stress on it. So it broke up much lower, but let's call it 30 bang on, but it is thicker. You can feel it, it's slightly, slightly thicker. I haven't got a right micrometer. I've got a pair of uh, calipers, so they don't, can't really measure very thin things. Like micrometer would just squeeze lightly on it and then it would just stop once it feels a little bit of resistance. Yep, so it looks like the die wire line is thinner. If you're buying a die wire line, go for an extra ten pounds at least to get what you want. 
But if you go for the Berkeley line, I wouldn't trust the thickness of it, but I would trust the strength. So see, here we are, Chisel Beach, there's that tree. Yeah. So you know exactly where we are. The man down there has got a conger, look, he's yeah. chucking it back, he's got like a one pound, pound and a half conger. Really yeah, it's big for a conger. We're set up with our fishing brolly this time. Um, look how many people we'll see, look, down there. Yeah. And then down there. Now, I don't know. I don't know, what do you reckon our video when we show said to people go along the road on the right? <laughs> Good eye. And look Good how it, yeah. where's before yeah, there's a lot of people spread out. This is uh, high tide now, LC. It's actually past high tide because it is about let's have a look. We'll watch. Half twelve now. Oh, okay. So half twelve it's soon like go down, down, down basically. I don't think we're going to have to move if we stay here. He's got, he's got something, look, he's, uh, he's got fish as well, that man. It's, so, yeah. I mean, what I'm going to do, I don't know if there's any snags out there, I'll see, yeah? yeah? I don't know if it's worth trying. I might just chuck it out to see how the lead is holding and see if there's any slag, uh, snags. Yeah. So, a cod rod for you on the long red rod, yeah? yeah. Cod bait. Then a small baits to try and get whiting. Then a, a rod, a long rod that I'm not going to use until I get live bait, maybe like a whiting. Then my cod rod, so I really have three rods going. No point in mackerel, I think he's got a fish. Look. Something's going on here today, you can just tell. The wind is so low and the pressure is so high. Yeah, we've got high pressure, low wind, it's coming from the north. The waves are kind of, yeah, I thought it would be low, smaller waves than this, but you know, this is a, this is the Chesil Beach, it's slightly, yeah. Yeah, unusual. I think, I reckon he's got fish. No, yes he has, he's got a conga. Conga, yeah. Yeah, he's got a conga. Yeah. If he pulls it up, I can have a look. No, it's a whiting. He's got double whiting. There we go, we're on. We're on, it's not a bad day today. All right. By the way, LC, it's not three pounds for the 24 hours pay the man at the kiosk anymore it is oh, it is like a machine and okay. you got to either punch your license in or oh. pay by phone I, and get a ticket i pay by pay using a card print off a, a ticket and i paid straight eight pounds for 24 hours so, you know okay. you can pay five pounds for three or four hours but who's going to do that but so it's not cheap anymore here yeah so angry weymouth sent uh five pounds i think for Ooh. for uh, lugworm, black, and they call them blow lugworms, these ones. Blow worms. So, ah. quarter pound that is, and there's no fluff in there at all, it's just all worm. So, a quarter of a pound is four pound or five pound, something like that. Great. And these are all live baits we got. So, I think you're going to have a real chance of getting uh, whiting. Right? Here's our carp rod, right? here's our rig. This is going to be your whiting. These are number six hooks. They're very small. Very small, got grip yeah. leads on. You've got a panel hook over there. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's hook them up. Let's, hook, let's, let's get you some whiting to start with. These are really dewy and soft. So the old. Uh, Hit him on the floor a bit, I think, trick. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think one worm can do maybe the, like... The one hook. Maybe more than more than one hook. You know, we've got three hooks there for you. Oh, that was not a good idea. So, that leaked all his juices out. It was not a good idea. So... Whole worm only, I think. Please. Yeah, so that was a mistake of mine. I didn't realise. When we first came to Chisel Beach, I remember the fella lost a lot of juice when we uh, put the hook through. So these tiny little hooks may be just right. So, like this, I guess. Be aware of the waves, yeah. Be aware of the waves, yeah. And also, don't forget. We're going to chum, Elsie, we're going to chum the area, yeah? Yeah. 
So we're going to put some old prawn heads uh, in the water in a minute. So I'm going to leave it like that, that'll do. I think you're going to get a bite very, very quickly. I hope so. I think you will. Give this me, rig always works. Give me some pecker fish. <laughs> this work, rig always, really always works. Before you cast, Elsie, you always tug it to make sure it moves freely, otherwise it means it's caught at the top, yeah? All right? Here we go. Not far away. Great. You've got Matt, you've got braid. You've got braid and you've got sensitive rod. And it's close, so you'll see everything. I'll see. Braid, Thanks. close and sensitive. And a, a long, long as well. So. Long, long. <laughs> the bell, not long, long. Beautiful day today. Hello? You got fish, you got squid, big black lugworm. Wow. Okay. Great stuff. Two hooks. Yeah. It's going out. Very long tail sticking out, I don't know. Where it Really big race today. Oh my god, here we go. Right, I know I'm gonna chum I'm gonna chum the area LC. Yeah. I've got prawn heads, fish heads, and more old fish here. I'm gonna chuck it out. It seems to work before. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do that. It seems Good to, idea. Seems to attract him. Yeah, we I'm already set up. Just do and chuck it down there. Yeah. My rock keep moving, but I think it's a weight. Ooh. And fish guts as well. <laughs> the old fish head, the blue fish head, is going out. Smell it. Yeah, whole bag of fish heads right here. Oh my god, a shark coming. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Four fish heads right there. We've got a braid, yeah. out middle distance, close on braid, yeah. sensitive rod. I've got my rod out there, with a cod kind of rig, on mono though, so unfortunately it's on mono. Yeah. So I don't know, I don't know, and that's out far. That's not a good idea, is it illogical, Elsie, what have we done? That's a bait, go for it Elsie, wind the handle, don't forget. Yes. Don't worry about the long, long, keep your, try and hook the fish, try and hook the fish. You feel anything? Yeah. You feel good? Okay, good. Free it. You feel the fish? Yeah. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Feels all right, yeah? Don't get you a big 175 gram weight on there. We should play some music right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> no fish. Is there any fish? There's the leader. We don't know. No 
nothing. Okay, okay. It didn't even come off. It didn't even come off. Right, okay. Unfortunately, it did not disconnect. Elsie, look. It didn't disconnect from here. Oh, because of all the... And look, your fish got chomped in off. Yeah, Something. I feel 100 yards. 100 yards just look like off. Yeah, you Something... felt it come off. Yeah. Something happy and then gone. Yeah, I chomped your worm. Just chop. This did not disconnect, so I might try it on here next. Okay. Go on there. So if that was on there, you might have caught that fish. I'm sorry about it. See, I you I use this. I think this will be better. Okay. Let it go again. Well done, well done. Nearly had the fish. Kind of hard to tell the bites today, obviously. The waves, they look, they look like bites. I think, look at that rod though, that rod's high up, see that? Yeah. And that's not really getting it, because it's in the surf. That's a, that's a good thing sometimes, you're moving a bait around. But we just try and program yourself to see when it looks like a, looks like a bite or it looks like a, you know, waves. Look at these, these are for superb. Quarter of a pound, so about five pounds worth. Many, many bits in there. And they're very, very juicy. Very, very juicy. Yeah, what happened? Huh? What happened? It's very far out and it's on the mono line, so maybe I should just strike it. The bell went off, the bell went off. Feel something? Keep going, I'll see. Well done. Huh? Came off. Oh. I think, I think they're going to cut me. No, this is it. The man there has caught an elongated brown fish. I think it is a cod. He's got a cod. That man there's caught a waiting just now. That man there. I don't know if you can see him. That man there. And we have missing bites. We're getting bites and missing them. We'll get some. We'll get some. Don't worry. We'll get the biggest cod on on the beach today. Watch. We'll get the biggest fish on the beach today. We'll scare people. With big. How big they will be. We're missing bites, we're not like we're not getting bites, we are missing them. There's a difference, right? <laughs> oh, Tom, look like I have a big fish. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the bell rang. Everyone caught a big fish. <laughs> we are still really small. I can't see. How about a bigger one? Ooh. It's worth changing your weights to a small weight, Elsie. Because a big weight is making us lose fish. Even I lost a fish, so... <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, you got a bait left on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's more than this, it's not. Hold this for you. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Just don't mind it, don't mind it.
Oh, a bigger one. <laughs> nice size pack, like the one we call in seafood. Uh, no, uh, side milk. Nice, it's got sharp teeth, look. It's got quite sharp teeth. Nice though. Yeah. Put it back. Great. <laughs> Knock your bell right off. Remember, the, imagine the fish is there and you need to sink that hook and play him in. Play the fish, play the fish. You're playing the fishing. Go guide him in. Make sure he's on his mouth. He's hooking. Oh. I want to see what he tried for. He tried for. There was a piece of squid, there was a fish, and two worms. Okay, yeah. It, probably he was just scoffing it away. There was definitely a bite. In fact, it locked, knocked your, your bell right off. Oh, Tom got one. <laughs> All three rods went off at the same time. Yeah, just a, just a second time. ago. Do you feel anything? Small weight on there now. I oh. switched to like 100 gram weight. Oh, a small fish again. Why well, everyone got a bigger one? We only have a smaller one. Not too bad. This is not small. Wow. Right. Beautiful. So if you're watching, unfortunately, I'm going to get Elsie to hold this. We'll take a picture for our, uh, <laughs> for our thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously you didn't see Elsie catch it, but Elsie <laughs> has caught it on the thumbnail. Oh yeah, last time I won. Feel anything? Yeah. Oh good, well done. Break the bank, break the duck. I'm going to give you bigger hooks now, oh, the number six. Oh, no. Lost it. No, no, it could be so. I keep winding. I'm going to give you big hooks. Lost it. Lost it. All right, okay. I'm going to give you slightly bigger hooks, I'll see you. It's a large hook, okay, this time. I think it's a size two. If she catches her fish, she'll blame me for sure. She'll go, oh no. Oh, the shutter is not opening properly. Oh no. Oh no, you missed it. That is a face of disappointment. Did you feel it? Did you feel fish? Oh dear. Uh, this time I don't feel they gone. Not like a... Uh, it's only half three. I think four o'clock is it getting dark, I think. Four fifteen. I think I said, it's hard to tell bites and the, the surf has been weird because it went away a little bit. I think it's coming back now. I can't remember what I said about when the high tides are and low tides. So I think low tides at so five, 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 I think. So all five, yeah. Five, five, four. Yeah, it keep, it's going to change a couple of times. So pretty much it stayed about there. It's going to come back a little bit. We may have to move back. Um, we're still waiting for the cod, remember night time could be cod, could be. Okay. So when we slung out the big bait, it's not been touched. The little baits have all been ravaged. Okay. So I've got a bite on that right, see that? Yeah. Right hand side, right hand side, Elsie, go take it, go take it, go take it. Look at that shaking. One handle, don't forget one handle. 
One handle, one handle. That's it. Pull, 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 tug. Feel it. You saw that, folks. The bell went. Shake around. Just drop your rod tip a bit, mate. I'm going to take the bell off. Don't move. Okay. No, you can't get in the way now. No excuses. Smile for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it came off again. Yeah. Is it a big one? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Pull it up higher, higher. Keep pulling, keep pulling, there's a fish here. Keep pulling, there's a fish. Keep pulling, oh, it's a, it's a dogfish. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh, wow. You caught a doggy. Well done, Elsie. Oh my god, I can't take it out. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Hold this camera. Put, put it on the back. Yeah, I think that is happy. Huh? That's a big old dogfish, yeah, isn't it? Wow. The first time I got a bigger one. <laughs> I don't have any teeth. He's got really muscly, isn't he? The difference between him and that. Him and that other thing. Ah. Let me, I'll take the hook out first. Hang on. Look. Ah, I don't know. Everyone can caught, caught anything. Let me try to kill. Take me here. Nice size, nice size doggy, Elsie. You're on camera, fella. We're going back in the sea. Are Nobody you? eats you. So, we've been catching, but other people have stopped now, really. So. Probably they came early. Yeah, maybe. There's so many fishermen here today, and they're so spread out. They're all the way down there. There are loads of them down there. I just wonder, is it when we made a video saying, look, we want you to go right hand side. I might, might be one or two people. Surely has an effect. There's something on that one, maybe. It's looking funny. The red one. No, the, the other one. Yeah. The red one you've got a big bait on for a cold, don't forget. Yeah. Probably it's the right. That, when that bell goes off, you kind of definitely know. Yeah. The bell, this. I just hope we pitch this right where we're, you know, not too forward when the, when the tide comes in. I'll look at the tide in a minute. I've got this right. I remember, it's a near, near 5 o'clock. 1644 or something? Or 1655? So we're quite snug here today, aren't we? Even if it rains in this proper fishing volley with side storm sides. You feel warm? Yeah. I think when I bought this, it was only about 45 pounds. Long time. Yeah, a long time ago. They're like 150. But I, I, I feel quite warm here. Yeah. But if the wind falling this way, yeah. Probably, yeah, cool a little bit. But um, today I wear the thick head but I feel good because not really near my eyes so I can see clearly. So I quite like this head warm and um, yeah really cozy and yeah I can see things clear. So this is uh, today is November the 22nd. Second, yeah Sunday. The car parking I pay for eight pounds 24 hours is going to go to November the 23rd. Uh, obviously we're not staying here that long. Now the tide's coming in, I don't even know what's happening now. Yeah, if I caught the uh, cod, then I can go home. <laughs> do, well, <laughs> it, the cod is the one we want to catch. Yeah, I hope we can. That's, yeah. the, that's, the, that's the fella we really yeah, want. Yeah, today, how many species have we, uh, we caught? Dogfish, a few pouting, 
And uh, was that it? Yeah. No? Yeah. Pouting and um, dogfish. We're hoping for a cod. I've got a big bait out. Obviously, he's got a big bait out. Yeah, I think I lost quite a few. <laughs> yeah. So this is November 22nd. It feels 11 degrees, I think. It feels warmer because no, of the sea. It's warm, yeah, because I just wear that one and the t shirt. That's it. Yeah, the sea is 13 degrees, don't forget. The sea's 13. And we're right next to it, and the wind is not is very light, so we, we feel warm. Yeah, not that cold because I, I quite like this cast, I can see clearly, and then, yeah, just, just feel not, um, yeah, warm. So when we go fishing here in the summer, we don't catch anything. You yeah, know, yeah. We even have been many, many times. Before. Yeah, are uh, we in mackerel maybe? No, we didn't even get a mackerel, other people. I Fishing you mackerel. Caught, you caught one. I don't think I did. No, I, I didn't. You caught really smaller ones. I don't think so. Oh, I did not. I don't think so. We don't catch here. That's the thing. Yeah, luckily I caught, I caught the dogfish. The biggest one. A really big dogfish. A big dogfish. But quite appreciated, yeah. It's, it's great here. Tip. Yeah. November the 22nd, look, we're catching fish. November, that's a, that, I don't know, that looks... No, it's a bait. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Because it's, you need to listen to the bell, if the bell definitely... Yeah, it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell. Anyway, we're going to carry on. We're, we're kind of running out of battery, but we're going to carry on. Make sure we've got a battery for later. Is it where Tom caught another one? <laughs> <laughs> Not like my one, definitely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pouting again. Waiting. Ah, lovely. Almost looks like a cod. Hang on, let me pretend it's a cod. <laughs> Check it. They have a moustache. Mmm, they have a moustache. No, it's, it's a whiting. It's not a, it's not a cod. How do they take the picture? Go, go, go! Both our rods went at the same time. Probably whiting, the whiting could be in. If we lower it a bit, I'll take this off. I've got it. Come on, girl. Whiting, my guess. But you've got a big bait on and it's out quite far. Will it be a cod? Will it be? If we catch a cod, that'll be job done. It'll be job done, Elsie. Because we need to catch one. There's a fish there. There is something there. What is that? Seaweed? Oh well, did you come off, did it? So he had a big, well he didn't, he had a big bait in his mouth. So I'll rebate your... She cut my hand open with those, with the braid. So eager to get that fish in, the hand really got sliced open. Oh, you've got one. It's a pouting. I'll hold it in front of the camera so it looks huge. It's 
I have a fish. And then what? Red one. Do you feel anything? Oh, yes. The tiny one. No, bigger one. Ah. What is that? Uh, yeah. It's look big. The giant size whitey. Dude, check his teeth out. He's got any moustache. So we're getting tired, tired now. Obviously, yeah. Uh, dark coming. I mean. So the whitey we had, I unhooked it, but it was deep hooked. I stuck him in the bucket there oh and made sure he can recover. Give him time to recover. When he recovers, we'll put him in the sea. If he don't recover, it can taste quite good right away, can't it? But yeah, I don't need this over. He's quite long. We'll put him back if he uh, can recover. So, salt water, of course. Anyway, carry on. Time for probably. The lights on the rods and the lights on the head, yeah. probably. Hey, Tom. Hello. What Hello. happened? Oh, Hello. what is this? Hello. What you call? What you call? Huh? What's this? Whiting. No oh, cod yet. Whoops. At the 6 p.m. <laughs> Lovely. So put it back. No, it's a ringling. Yeah, starting chilly, but not really chilly. Are you feel chilly? Huh? Are you feel chilly? No, I feel warm. Okay. It's bouncing a lot. Yeah, hit it. I will hit it. It's like bouncing up and down three, four times, right? It doesn't seem like a, um, doesn't seem like the waves. Don't shine the light in the rain. Keep going. Okay. Keep going, keep going. What's mad? Okay, stop, stop. A bit stuck, stop. Stop, stop, stop. A bit stuck. Hang on. No, 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 no. Don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. Hang on. Hold this. Turn on. Is it waiting? That's the best way. Play, play, play. That's it. Remember, 
remember you got to keep that hook in the fish's mouth. So the whole point. Sorry, sorry. Keep going, keep going. Oh, came off. Keep winding. No, 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 it's still there. Keep going. You got a fish. Yeah. Bring it in. It looks like a conga. Bring it. Keep going. Wind it up. Oh no, you got two. Two whiting. No, you got a one whiting, one pouting, a big one as well. Oh, well done, LC. Yeah, a big, big pouting. Right. Hold it. Judge you, hold it up, wind it up. Yep. So, carry on catching. Another fighting in the bucket. Seems like they can unhook themselves in the bucket, so we might keep doing that. Chelsea. So, I think it's about half past seven. So, high tide coming up again, slack tide. So, uh, Tide's coming in again, and uh, so how was the day we had? Good, it was good, but when it was start, it's uh, more little fish, and I lose lots of, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of fish, at least 10 times, yeah, but I think we caught 11. And we got a last one, and I want to say, I've been using, I've been a lot more effective using a very slight, light weight today, any weight that had any kind of, anything over 100, and, 100 grams didn't do very well and I got a last little whiting, uh, not like whiting and pouting and it's well hooked, you know, it's hooked on the lip, I can easily get that out, look it out, no problem. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, please subscribe, press the like button and notification, share, yeah, thank yeah, you fish, for Yeah, we'll hurry up, the fish is dying. Uh, so, I think today what won it was using light weights, not heavy weights, and also using braid. The 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 the, the, light, the rod with the mono didn't see any bites at all. All right, good job. <laughs>